Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi, the new show on Disney Plus. So, let's get into it. I will be talking about major plot points that happen in this show, so this is your spoiler warning. Spoiler alert! Obi-Wan Kenobi might be one of the most frustrating shows I have watched in a while, and I feel like diehard fans of Star Wars will most likely come away from this show not liking it. I think the frustrating thing with this franchise is that fans tend to be a little hyperbolic about a lot of the Star Wars properties. They'll either really love something or really hate it, which is causing the divisive nature of this season. People seem to either really love it or really hate it. I'm happy and angry! In my opinion, Obi-Wan Kenobi sits right in the middle. There are episodes of this show that I think are genuinely bad, and there are episodes that are incredible. In terms of what's good, I firstly think Ewan McGregor gives a great performance as Kenobi. He knows how to play the character so well, and he shows that he still has that character in him. Hello there. I also think pretty much everything that was done with Vader was excellent. Every scene with him just gave me the feeling that the best Star Wars movies do. I was refreshed in terms of my belief that Darth Vader is one of the all-time great villains ever put to screen. We haven't seen this much of Vader since the original trilogy, and he makes this show so compelling from the moment he is introduced into this show. Vader is very threatening to Kenobi the whole time because of what happened in Revenge of the Sith. It feels like a ghost from his past has returned, and he still has some hope that he can be redeemed. The scenes with these two characters were very electric, including their final battle scene. I loved how we get both James L. Jones and Hayden Christensen playing him, and when Kenobi ultimately defeats Vader and breaks his mask, his voice is kind of torn between both. It was a really nice touch, and it shows the last part of humanity in Vader before he goes completely dark. The line where Kenobi addresses him as Darth rather than Anakin was a nice scene to showcase that Kenobi has finally lost hope in him. There were some action scenes in this that I thought were excellent. I loved the fight scene between Vader and the new character Reva Savanda. Before this we see Vader single-handedly stop a spaceship from taking off using the force and it was so cool. The fight scene is also so cool where we see Reva try and stealth Vader but he knows and stops her lightsaber with the force, and he basically just destroys her. This is another excellent showcase of how powerful Darth Vader has become. His connection with the dark side seems so strong at this point that he has become the most powerful Jedi in Star Wars. He has grown strong. Now we go into the negatives because I think almost everything else to do with this show unfortunately falls very flat. I don't like what the story is doing every time that we're not focusing on the Kenobi Vader dynamic. I'm just going to be honest, I could not care less about any rebel stuff in any Star Wars movie or show. It is just so boring and to me showcases how weak the writing in Star Wars can be. Unfortunately this show focuses on that stuff for far too long because in the middle of the season, it becomes a focal point and the show doesn't really pick up again until Vader comes back into play. I also think all the stuff between Leia and Kenobi was extremely boring. I have nothing against the performance from the child playing Leia. It is clear to me that the writing is bad and they forgot how a child talks and acts. This makes the character feel inherently unlikable and it felt like the whole time I was watching the show, Every scene with her was boring or poorly executed. I mean, look at the first chase sequence of this season as an example. She runs under some trees and the people chasing her just give up as if this was a crappy PS2 game or something. I'm take a break for a while. I brought my PS2. They managed to make the couple of scenes with Luke Skywalker feel very boring as well because once again, they clearly don't know how to write children in a show. There is a baffling arc with Reva, where she was one of the younglings that was there when Anakin murdered a bunch of them in the Revenge of the Sith. So she gets driven by revenge and because of that, she almost kills a young Luke because of it. I know what they were trying to do here by saying that her need for revenge has overcome her empathy for someone who's in the same situation as her. 
But to me, this just did not work. And I feel like it was very counterintuitive for her to do this. Also, how does Anakin just not kill her when she was a child? A lightsaber cuts through someone just by touching them. How could he have hit her as a child and she was just lying there pretending to be dead and she didn't actually die? This all feels like a big shame to me because I can see that this show has a lot of excellent things in this. However, it spends too much time trying to do something else and it completely misses the point a lot of the time. I wish this was a whole lot better, and if it had just focused on the sole thing that this show could offer, which was that arc between Kenobi and Vader, this could have been a 4.5 to 5 star season. Instead, I'm going to give Kenobi a 3 out of 5 because too much of this was poorly written and quite boring overall. Thank you for watching the video. My next video will hopefully be my second part to my season 4 review of Stranger Things. I'm so excited to see how that show ends. Tell me what your thoughts were for Kenobi down below and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.